the basis of the 1120 grew out of the extension of our 920 experience. It kind of kept pushing the gravel envelope and the ability to actually go out onto a trail was kind of the next logical step. We really kind of started thinking about the capabilities of the stash and everything that bike can do and how fun that bike is to ride. And we really wanted to elevate that to be a proper experience for bike packing. As a trial run, one of our designers took a stash and repainted it and made some racks for it. It was really the first prototype of this bike and, and we called that the 1020 concept. It just scream versatility and capability. Compared to the stash, the 1120 has a little higher hand position. The handlebars sit just a little bit higher to bias that for all day riding. We have the strangle hold dropout, which allows us to adjust the chainstay length, and we actually lengthen the chainstays just a little bit. You also have the ability to move the wheel back a little bit, which is often an aid when you're carrying a lot of weight. You're trying to keep the weight centered over the bike. We use a one by system. It's a 32 front chain ring and a 1146 on the rear. It's a little bit lower gearing because we've got a little more load on the bike and you need to be able to pedal that up with an extra 15, 20 pounds. We have boost, which is a little wider spacing on the axles, necessary because of the three inch wide tire that we're running. That plus size Chupacabra really gives you that confidence that you can hit anything. Those tires just track so well and they roll so well. We definitely found the limitations of running conventional panniers. There's a lot of movement, a lot of wobbling around. So that is kind of the inspiration towards making something that would allow us to put stuff on the side to increase the load carrying capacity, but we didn't want to make it real wide. The rear rack came from the idea that we wanted to still keep weight balanced in the rear to the front and to the rest of the frame, but we also wanted to be able to use the dropper seat post. And by removing that seat post bag and placing the bags on either side of the frame, similar to what you would do with a more standard touring setup, we could get that dropper seat post to actually be fully used. And then we also got a little bit more storage space as well. The bag holster is a quick and easy way to get the bags on and off the bike, whether that's just taking and pulling the dry bag out or if you're trying to take the whole holster off in the situation where you'd want to go ride some mountain bike trails unencumbered by your gear. We designed around the average size of an 8 liter dry bag. We didn't need to reinvent a pannier, we just needed to have a better way to hold something that you probably already have. We got a carbon fork, suspension corrected, through axle and we put lots of places to bolt things on the sides and does incorporate the uh, mounts for that front rack right on the fork crown. By getting the bag away from the handlebars, you're not crushing your cables against the head tube and it allows us to get the load as low as possible to uh, aid stability and kind of keep it out of your way a little bit. Also makes it a little easier to strap the bag on and off. You can use the 720 racks on this. We also have triple water bottle spacing on there as well. We also put triple water bottle spacing on the down tube. The really cool thing about the 1120 is that it can be your daily riding mountain bike and come the weekend you can go on your micro adventures with it or go on a long extended tour with it. It's just that capable and that much fun to ride.